Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Eve 4. We are Burgundy, and we are uh, conquering some Poland in the name of Ostriak. Ostriak? I don't know how to... I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyways, thank you guys for all the support that we've seen up to this point for the channel and for the campaign. It has been a ton of fun, and I really do appreciate y'all. So, I think we're working through a mill idea. No, we're not. So let's just... Try to win this ASAP. There we go. Let's see if we can catch these guys out in the highlands. I think we win this fight. A one two a one six to a three four. We have superior discipline tactics. Oh yeah. And Austria is gonna reinforce. We're good. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Not even close, dude. Not even close. So, Great Britain hates me, though. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, he hates me. We are so rich right now. Let's see here. Is there literally anything we can do? Might as well get a little more trade here, yeah? And then, Town Halls. Definitely gonna need those. Get our governing capacity sorted out, and then universities in all of our, every single province we want a university. Might as well get them in there as well. Make it cheaper to dev. Also, we'll get enlightenment like overnight, which would be good. And sure, build a couple of those guys. Wonderful. So, now we just need to come up here and siege on Warsaw. I mean, honestly, it's going to be pretty cheap to take most of this stuff. Does he have cores in any of this? So he's coring this all up currently. After he cores this, I'll be able to actually take like one of these provinces over here and use that to get claims on the Ottomans so we can attack him directly, which we definitely want to do. No need to be force marching. We just want to be able to wrap this war up in a timely manner. So he's heading into this Rawa. Can we... Britain has entered our coalition. I don't really care. Very good. If we can stack wipe his armies, we want to do it. Okay. Let's just get back over onto the Warsaw. Absolutism is looking great. We can lose a little bit of legitimacy. Uh, but I want the burgers to be loyal. So let's do that, actually. Loyal Burgers is important for our income, so... There we go. Finishing up all of our cores over here. Protestantism is looking very good. We are looking strong, and I love it. Without the HRE being in our way, we'll be able to get a lot more conquests done here. So is this Poland-Lithuania... Lithuania is just an ally. Very good. Okay, that's good for us, because we'll be able to piece him out pretty easy then. Okay, he's attacking Austria over there. Austria's got pretty low morale, but he has decent discipline. Now we just need to win his capital. <laughs> which apparently we're struggling with a bit. It wouldn't be too bad to have a personal union over here. Let's pull you back. Have you improve relations with Curlin? They're Protestant as well, so... It would be an easy fit for us to work our way over there. Let's get over here to Plotsk. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say Plok instead, because Plok sounds way better to me. Shout out Slavic. Convert for everybody. Including our vassals, of course. Did I convert him? I did. They have so many men, dude. What is this? It's mostly Lithuania, honestly. Okay. Let's recall you. Can we just peace out Lithuania? Like a white piece? Eh, maybe. I got a wall breach. One month in. Come on now, brother. Let's uh see if we can get some get some fights over here. Yeah. Beat up on Lithuania stack. 
That might actually bait him into leaving that siege. Nope. Alright. 35% chance. He's probably gonna win it because the AI. Yeah. No big deal. I'll still stack wipe him. Take it back. Come on over here. Catch these guys out. Wipe that stack. People joining our coalition. I don't really care because I'm still going to kill your armies. Like, look at this, dude. I've lost 71. They've each lost over 110,000. This is a no contest. Very good. I'm trying to not waste as many mill points. There we go. Something like this. There we go. We just need to siege him down. Easy clap. It was a good point. I'll gladly take some free admin mana. Paper mana. Okay. There we go. Lithuania is definitely not feeling too good either. Oh yeah. We'll be able to uh, piece him out quite soon. Come on now. What are you talking about, dude? Nah, they just appeared there. That's dumb. Yeah, you guys can suck my balls. This will not last for you. You take seven of my men, I'll take 70,000 of yours. How about that? Brother, no. All right, let's just peace out. I don't wanna lose any more men. So. I think we do something like this and we create a port line against the Ottomans. That actually would be really good for us. Aggressive expansion is, I mean, anybody who is going to join our coalition has already joined it. We have Spain and Russia. Ideally, we get like, a, you know, Ethiopia as well. We'll see. We need to improve with them. Curlin still has a disputed succession. He'd probably royal marry me soon. Mm. Neutral attitude, huh? All right. I need to wait nine days, so it looks like these guys might actually get wiped anyways. Maybe? Ah, oh, cool. We're good. Very good. Nice. All righty then. And then you guys will give me your war reps. I would like to vassalize Prussia as well. Economic base. So distance between borders. If I could just get like... Ooh. If I could just take this one province, I'd be able to vassalize Prussia and then get a Prussian march. So I think it's actually worth staying in this war for a little bit. Get up here, siege down Lithuania's capital. Yeah, if we play that right, we can probably get a we can probably get a, a Prussian march right now. So let's do that. State up Provence as well, which is super high dev, apparently. Let's do that. Can't believe how much money we're making. We're doing really good, boys. We're doing really good. Defenders dessert. Very good. Let's uh, make sure everybody can build lots of men, including myself, of course. Make sure all my marches are nice and strong. Come on now. Once we win this capital siege, we'll be able to take uh, Memel or whatever. Clay Peta. Mm-hmm. Suppose we lose this. They have no influence, so we don't actually get any dev cost. Unless maybe we do if we go over... Ah, we do if we go over 60. Let's see here. Nobility. Oh, terrain? Well, I can do that right now. Let's do that. Look at that. 50 points for a bunch of money. And uh, loyalty with them. So, we'll get a uh, dev discount for a long time. And so, it looks like we can now... Just pay off his debt, placate him for free. A little bit of prestige buff is always good. All right. Now you guys are going to get out. You're going to give me this province here. 
He doesn't have a core on it, right? He has a permanent claim. So I'll give it to him after I vassalize him. It's fine with me. And then... Give me your war reps and then all your money. Well, actually, instead of your money, I think I'd rather you break your friendship with uh, Poland. All right, now we can get a Prussian march. So I'm definitely going to do that. Alrighty then. So we need to improve with him as much as we possibly can before we call this war. I mean, and I'm in no rush to get Poland out. It doesn't bother me any. Um, as long as I can get... I don't even care about that one either. Is this fort here? And then we'll build one in Pest. And there's already one here, so build one like... Hmm. Yeah, it's a little tough. Because there's not really any defensive terrain over here in southern Carpathia, but we'll, we'll figure it out. It's no big deal. I think we're going to annex Austria as well. Let's improve relations with you. Ethiopia. Yeah, I don't know. We might not be able to get him to be a friend, but maybe we will eventually. We'll see. Proclaim a guarantee. We just need to get our relations as high as possible before, because aggressive expansion is going to make it a little tough. The fact that he is a heretic doesn't help. It's really funny that he's Catholic, actually. It's, it's very funny. Extremely funny that he's Catholic. And Curlin still has a disputed succession, man. He'd royal marry me now. Give me some trade power, baby. So he's got claims on all this stuff. Oh, he's got cores on all this stuff. Perfect. Nice. How long is that core there? Oh, we're good. This might be one of our best snags of the game so far. Let's send him a gift. There we go. All right, now let's piece this war out. I'm going to give this all to Austria, and we're going to march Austria, I think. <sighs> See, I want to annex Austria, though. Do we have any policies that would help? Not really. Hmm. I'm not even going to core it because I'm just going to give it to him. This is fine. Let's give Austria all the provinces he had claims on, which is all of that. And I think I just keep this stuff. Uh, right, so I'm going to have to give it all to him. Oh, right, because we got rid of the estates, the states general. Because we need a woman. A whammon. We could take our golden era. We want to click this button. Let's make sure we've got everything sorted out first. I actually don't know... 100% what happens if there's any like major things that change when we do this So This one you want a bigger fort there, okay, cool So that'll work Austria is looking good Let's uh click this button So we've completed a mission get a bunch of permanent claims in uh, Germany, which is cool. Wait, where exactly? Oh nice That's a ton Country changes to Lotharingia. We must forge our own destiny. So, in a ceremony at which the entire Burgundian court, as well as many foreign dignitaries, were present, Philippe VIII was today crowned the king of Lotharingia by Bernard de la Porte, the bishop of Verden. Uh, the festivities carried on long into the night as court bards sang ballads of de Borgnon, rulers old and new. So, it's actually very fitting that we ended up with a de Borgnon. That's the French word for Burgundy, so. Obviously, um, we shall take up Lothair's mantle. And uh, yes, we do want the new missions and stuff because they're pretty strong. Core creation costs, 10% aggressive expansion, 
Infantry combat ability, 25% manpower, prestige decay. So we're trending towards 115 morale, trade efficiency, idea cost. Wow, dude. This is actually really strong. Yearly prestige advisors, missionaries. Cool. Very good. Do we get extra missions? So we do. Oh, we actually do. Very cool. So this one, I, I don't think I can do it, honestly. I really don't know how to do this one. So anyways, we get a new color as well. I'm not sure if I necessarily like this compared to our beautiful burgundy color before. But uh, I'm cool with it one way or the other. We can rival Spain. I'm still not going to do that. Um, so let's ally these boys. And um, is there anything else I can do? Yearly, yearly change. We're improving with him. He'll steer trade to me. I don't know if that's actually anything. That, but Okay, so I can offer him mill access, which will give me another 10. He has no debt. His rivals are Pomerania, so I can scornfully insult Pomerania. And um, who else he got? Curland. I don't want to scornfully insult Curland, but I might as well. Okay, so it doesn't go over 20. 25, rather. Okay. And then I guess we can give him some subsidies as well. And we'll end up just canning them after they're done anyways. So we're going to get a Prussian vassal. For free. Uh, I think we need to break some alliances here. Let's break our alliance with Würzburg. We don't need you anymore. And then Austria is going to get annexed as soon as our relations are high enough with him. It's going to take some time, though, because of aggressive expansion and all that. Maybe, just maybe, we need an improved relations guy. Let's convert religions for things. Okay. Not bad at all. So, the the downside is is I, I, should, I can't core it up. Hmm. See, I should have gotten my claims before I court it. So let's say I want... Okay, so he's going to try to get some claims on him eventually. That'll be good. Uh, I think we're going to hold off and wait on this tech. So we can just imperialism him anyways. People are entering our coalition. Still not too worried about it. Very good. A couple of months, we'll be able to... Ooh, yikes. It might actually fire at this point. A newborn daughter. Marie. That's awesome. So let me see here. Make sure that this is the right thing. So Mary of Lotharingia. I think that's actually super lucky. Uh, where are we at here? Mary of Lotharingia is starting as Burgundy. Front room Lotharingia and have a female ruler named Marie. Ruler is Marie. All right, Marie, three two two, not the best, but uh, I'll take what we can get. <laughs> Very good. So these guys are looking pretty beefy. Oh man, this coalition is growing. We have a pretty high aggressive expansion with basically everybody over here as well. So let us recall you, vassalize you. We will immediately force religion on you. You will be aggressive. Okay, very good. Taxi's entering coalition. It's fine. Let's designate him as a march. And uh, obviously send officers. And then I will also give you this province. There you go. It's, it's Lithuanian culture, so it's not super helpful, but... It's better than nothing. Let's make sure that these guys are improved. The Ottomans are not on our coalition. They cannot join, so that's really good. Good. He's converting his own lands. At a boy. At a boy, Prussia. So check this out. He has economic, offensive, religious. He's got defensive, so he's working on that right now. Offensive is good, though. It'll give him better generals. Morale of armies, 20%. Noble cadets does nothing, apparently. 
He's got a female. Female monarch. Very good. Okay. Let's get you guys over there. Keep the peace. I'm not sure if I need him to be my friend anymore. But uh, he is... He would join our coalition, so I should probably befriend him then. Okay. So we're maxed out with him. Let's influence and then send him a gift and then we'll start annexing. Eighty-three. Okay, so we have some time. <clears throat> and it looks like we can actually take this tech. The speed of succession in Canada, huh? And Curlin still. The Kingdom of Canada. Very cool. Might as well, you know, at least look at it. Ibrahim. Are we getting bonuses against the Ottomans? We are. Very good. So we definitely need to build some forts down here. Something like this. One on Vienna. And honestly, we probably need another one to protect. Let's just surround Vienna so it doesn't get occupied. And continue building our very illustrious universities. Sabotage reputation? No. I think we want to sabotage his recruitment. Okay, so he's in a... Oh, he's disbanding a bunch of units right now, which is really good. Yep, this is really good. <laughs> Half off trader. No, we, we need this improved relations. So check this out. 66. Not bad. Versberg could join, but he won't. And we got busted spying on the auto blob. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. That's okay. Once we get uh, imperialism, we're going to attack him and uh, kick his butt. So we have a De V on Spain. Let's improve with him. Make sure he's topped off. Excellent. Uh, nope. <laughs> so, France has a big army. Look at our vassals. 34 men in France, 19 in Austria, 19 in Gascony, 14 in Prussia. Prussia's got three, four provinces. Very good. Could accept Austrian culture. But I think I'd rather get tech. We're waiting on it. A natural scientist. Half off. Gladly. Okay. We have like no coasts. Yeah. Do we even have a navy? We have a bunch of heavies that are out here sucking up our sailors. But aside from that, we're good. So, without a giant navy, like, look at that, 86 galleys they have just sitting here in the Straits of Marama. Maranma? Maranma? Mara... Mara Mara? See a Mara Mara? Everybody gets that trade power, baby. Austria does not get uh, marched because they're going to get annexed. It'll take quite a long time, but it's okay. We're still gaining dip Diplo. By the time we end up getting ahead of this, we'll be good. We don't need the prestige. 10% discipline just in time for six years. Hmm. Let's just let that one expire. We want to get as close. We want to ha have that for as long as we can against the auto blob. Because we're going to attack him for sure here. Admin tech cost. Another 50 free admin. Sounds good, man.
We're also going to get Miltech. Dude, we're going to be ahead on all three techs. Perfect. This is fine. Merzberg entered our coalition. It is what it is. Should probably have these guys, like, drilling somewhere. Let's have them drilling. We've been talking about drilling our armies, and I haven't been doing it. Um. Yeah, a bunch of people are joining our coalition, man. This is annoying. Because this is going to make the... T make the uh, the war a little bit more um, risky for us. So we just gotta wait at least one more year. Man, this coalition. It very well may fire, honestly. Considering how many men they have. I could big build a bigger army, but it's not really necessary. That's the thing that, that's the issue that I have with it. So we have a level 6 fort. The forts over here are basically done. Very good. Yep, so these forts are done actually. So that's really good. Let's just have these guys go back over here and drill for a bit. We don't need to do that. We are maxed out on Diplo. On Mill, or on Admin rather. Let's just take this. The sooner we declare war, that means we're going to have for four and a half years, we're going to have that. And we'll call Spain in. That's no problem. Let's wait one day. Or I, until we get our imperialism, I guess. I assume we have to wait till next month. I think we scootage Austria. Imperialism, so... This will be our first war against the Ottomans and it's gonna feel so good. And nobody's gonna care, you know? The issue is, is if the Coalition declares while we're at war with the Ottomans, it will make me... quite literally lose my mind. <laughs> so now we have an extra 45% core creation cost reduction. That's crazy. Alright. We have superior numerical advantage. Let's declare the war. And we're going to fight it in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, share your support, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Ding the bell. And uh, share this with your friends. If you have buddies who like EU4, show them the video, see what they think. And uh, any comments for feedback is appreciated as well. There's plenty of ways to support the channel. If you do find yourself in the position and you want to, they're all going to be linked in the description below where you could join the channel via channel membership. And uh, we also have a Discord that you can join and hang out over there. And uh, it's the best way to get a hold of me if you want to chat with me personally. So that's all I got for you, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A very special huge thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Spartan Omega, as well as the other very generous people, Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Angelic, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Some Kind of Meme, Corbett Gaming, Blonde Damon, Thomas Jarden, The Bitter Steel, Joseph Catchell, RJ Pilot, Home TV, Disdain, and many, many more. Your continued support is what allows this channel to thrive, and I appreciate you very much.